Hi everyone, this is a short tutorial about how to use the Britain Talks Climate Golden Questions to identify and segments yourself and to conduct your own research. If you want to discover which segments you're currently talking to or understand how people from different segments see certain issues, you can use the 16 questions in this tutorial to classify them. You can see I have the, the questions open here on the left. And I also have the golden questions calculator on the right, which uh, I'll get to later. But for now, let's look at the questions. So here they are. There are 16 of them. Um, in order to use them, we recommend that you ask uh, them in the exact same order as they are presented here and with the same response options. Okay, now that we've gone through the questions, let's move on to the calculator. The Golden Questions Calculator um, allows you to categorize respondents into particular segments. So there are two tabs. The first tab is a single response calculator, you can see at the bottom, and the second is a bulk calculator. Um, and we'll get to that later. So with the single response calculator, it says here, answer the questions below by selecting an answer from the drop-down list. So what you would do is read the question on the left. Young people today don't have enough respect for traditional British values. And then here, it's currently blank. But if you select this drop-down menu, you'll see you can choose between strongly disagree, somewhat disagree, neither agree nor disagree, somewhat agree, and strongly agree. So you select an answer, and it pops up there. You do the same for the next question. People who break the law should be given harsher or stiffer sentences. And you might say the same. And once you've filled in all the questions, the segment name will appear here. So I will just quickly Okay, I'm going to stop for a second and just explain this question here. So this is slightly different. It says, please say how well the following statements reflect your views using the scale below, where one means you completely agree with the first statement and four means you agree completely with the second statement. And then there are two um, phrases here, personal responsibility and forces outside of control. So for this one, if you click this triangle, you can see that when it says where one means you completely agree with the first statement. The first statement is people's outcomes in life are largely determined by forces outside of their control. And four means you agree completely with the second statement. People are largely responsible for their own outcomes in life. So you can select one if you completely agree with this statement, four if you completely agree with this statement, and two or three if you're kind of leaning one way or the other. So I finished everything and it says I'm a progressive activist. And that's how the single response calculator works. Um, what you can do is can, you can go through it yourself. You can have someone else go through it. You can um, play around with it a little bit, change the answers and see, see how the labels change. That's it for the single response calculator. The next question is, well, how do you use this to segment your audience? And that's where we use the second tab, the bulk calculator. And what you can see with the bulk calculator is um, slightly, it's, it's laid out in a slightly different way. The bulk calculator allows you to paste in up to 1,000 responses at a time, and it tells you um, what percentage of the responses that you put in are co correspond to a particular segment. So what you see is here identity means just ID number, so this could be respondent number one. This is their response to question number one, young people today don't have enough respect. And then the answer here is strongly agree. And uh, the answer to question two is here, the answer to question three is here, and so on. And at the end here, it tells you this respondent belongs to the loyal nationals. And what this table on the right shows you is um, of each of the segments, what percentage corresponds to which segment and the total counts. So this doesn't really tell us very much yet because there's only one response in here and it's an example response. But when you conduct your own survey, you can take the data from that survey and directly copy and paste it into this space, uh, which is why we, I suggested that you uh, ask the questions in exactly the same order. And in this case, it's also very important to um, make sure that the response options are exactly the same, written in exactly the same case. So for instance, with strongly agree, the S is capitalized and the, agree, uh, the A in agree is not capitalized. This is so that the spreadsheet will be able to read it properly. 
So let's go to an example. Let's say that this is my data. Um, and I've, I've conducted a, a survey on, online um, and I've downloaded an Excel or CSV file. What you can see at the top is identity, so ID number, and then questions one through to 16. And uh, in column A, you can see that this is respondent one, this is their answer to question one, their answer to question two, answer to question three, and so on. Uh, all the way down, in this case, to participant number 100. So I've got 100 participants, I've got all of their data in exactly the same order, and all of the responses in the same format. I copy it all, except for the top row, because I don't need that. So I copy, and then I go back to Golden Questions Calculator, right click, and I'm not gonna just paste regularly, I'm gonna paste values only, and this is just to get rid of any formatting that might mess with the Excel formula. So I've pasted it, and you can see automatically it fills in um, which respondents correspond to which segment. And then if you go to the right, you can see it tells me 23% of my sample are progressive activists, 8% are civic pragmatists. I have the most, uh, the, the most popular segment is the loyal nationals in this case. And if I want the exact numbers, they're here as well, but because I have 100 participants, they're the same. So that's that's kind of it. Um, you can you can take this uh, and, for instance, add this column to your existing data sh data um, spreadsheet. So if I copy this and make sure it's in yeah the same order, I can go back to my Excel file here, make a new column called segment. No. Need to copy it again and paste. No. And that allows me to do more analyses and combine um, this with any other variables that I might have asked in the survey.